You know what I'm saying? Now you promoting. It's basically that's what you do. You promote. Yeah. You promoting, homie. You gotta promote the set, or you gonna be extinct. Ain't nobody gonna know who y'all is. You gotta move around. It's just like the music industry, homie. I'm promoting me. I'm promoting the set, right? You promoting two C's. Just not even saying it, but he promoting it just because who he is. Just who I, who I am. I'm promoting all the trades and all the gangster cribs. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how it is, man. And I'm happy because I'm the right voice to do it. You so, feel me? So with you doing music and everything because you came out with a record, it was over a hot ass beat at the time, the Waka Flocka record, the dun 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 Yeah, man, I had a whole lot of calls over that record, man. He said, Yeah, and you Yeah, and you um you know, that's when you you fired your shot up at you fired your rocket off at Nip. Yeah. And he fired one back. He fired one back. But it's always a Another side of stuff, y'all became actually pretty cool, and y'all was, yeah, about but to, see, y'all was on the verge of doing some things. Like that's that's what I'm saying. Like I tell everybody, it wasn't no, it wasn't no, no. I'm gonna kill cuz, or he gonna, he he said he gonna kill me. It was on some like, it was on some rap shit. It was hip hop shit. shit. Friendly competition. It was friendly like competition. And, it was hip hop. Yeah. I'm hard, nigga. And you nigga, hard. you hard on your side of the track, nigga. Hard. So I'm finna, mm-hmm. and he was bigger than me at the time. I wasn't. I was. I just started rapping. Honest to God. I, the homies was like, man, we know you be singing and shit. You be uh, writing raps and get in the booth, man, and do some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I had stopped for a minute, got back to the streets, getting the set back right in order, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then uh, I ended up doing that Heart in the Paint song. That shit went crazy. Dub C called me like, damn, nephew, that's how you do the homies? That's what I knew then. That motherfucker shout out, went shout out, viral. Shout out to the homie Dub. Shout out to Uncle Dub for sure. And Dub, so you related to Dub C, man. Yeah, Dub, that's Uncle, man. You know, through my Uncle Monster Pookie, that's his little homie. Mm. You know, my uncle raised Dub C, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he he tried to keep Dub off the streets, actually. You know what I'm saying? Kept him, tried to keep him out the park, out of Holly Park. You know, I heard all the stories. You know what I'm saying? Me and Dub sat and talked. I'm finna go fuck with him too. But um, yeah, man. Um, my uncle was a blessing to a lot of niggas, man. Real talk. Yeah, man. That, yeah. Real yeah. talk, man. He'll be with Cube right now at the big doing the big three, or he'll be with Cube's son. Actually, that's where he. That's where his main job was. At least start fucking with uh, Doughboy oh. doing the movies and shit, protecting Doughboy um, on the road doing his security work. Mm-hmm. That was his last thing he was he doing, said, man. Yeah, before he passed. Time. That was my nigga, man. Mm-hmm. You rest in peace. I used to live on St. Andrews. He told me. Yeah, that was my I know. Come on, man. I, what I tell you? That was my nigga, man. He I told me, man. Say. That was my low rider crew. Them was my niggas, man. I'm from Compton, nigga. And I used to, nigga, I was with the 111s, nigga. Like, he told me. Shit, nigga. Mm. Every, every day. I, used to, I lived over there for about, man, about three years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right yeah. on St. Andrews, right off of Imperial. Yeah, yeah. because my grandmother mm-hmm. stayed on St. Andrews in 115. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, on to the positive stuff, because a lot yes, of sir. people just like to just focus on the negative aspect of something, because that was some rap shit. Yeah, that was just some rap shit, bro, because we ended up shaking hands and all that when we actually met twice. We had a meeting with Young Jeezy at the CTE Experience meeting in Atlanta. He flew out there. I guess he was trying to do a deal with Jeezy. I guess it didn't work out. Then he ended up going to um, Rick Ross, fucking with Rick Ross at, right after that. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's when he started doing the songs with Rick Ross, and then Ross was coming to L.A. fucking with him. But yeah, Shout out man. to Rose, Rose. It was just, Z, yeah. Rose, Z, the K, all of them. What's up, my niggas? Yeah, it was just uh, it was just on some hip-hop shit, man. And then when I got out of prison this last time, we actually hollered on the phone because we was, um, my big homie, shout out to Big Madbone, man, and um, his big homie, um, we was trying to put a, a record together but make it big for, like, the media, not just... A record, you know what I'm saying? We was gonna make it big, bring everybody, make everybody be involved in this shit, media, all of that shit, because we from two crib sets that, you know what I'm saying, started a whole lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Separated the crib card, you know what I'm saying? So, right, right there would have just brought us, you know what I'm saying? At least it would have showed a little bit more glue to what we trying to do, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um. Rest in peace to the to the homie Nip. Um, the march, I, you know what I'm saying. I took my homies to the march. You know what I'm saying. Uh, 
that's what I was going to ask you about. How big was that for you, man, to see in your lifetime, man? Um, I thought it was real powerful, man. They had hit me in my inbox. I, um, it was real big. Um, Pac-Man, big. Pac-Man from over there. And his homegirl, um, Lady Boss Hall, Lady Boss Hall. And, and and on Instagram, you look at media like, man, do you trust this shit or not? You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I hit the nigga Pac-Man like, man, is my safety straight? Am I straight? My safety? And he assured my safety. He's like, yeah, homie, on 60s, you good. We want y'all to pull up. So, you know, you go, I get at the homies. Some, you know, they don't be with it. You know how this shit is. Mm-hmm. Niggas ain't, nigga, fuck that and all that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Then you got some niggas like, well, let's just see how this shit go. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I had a nigga playing good cop, bad cop with me. I had a nigga playing a role, seeing who was talking shit and who wasn't. You know, you got to do it. I play exactly. chess, cuz. I play chess, man. Mm-hmm. And I had the niggas that's, that was fully with it. Like, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But my whole purpose was... If I could get my little homies to this march and they could see my big homies interacting with their big homies from 60s, it'd show them that it was unity back in the days. Like, these niggas was actually like this. We was one set mm-hmm. back in the days, us and them. We was one set. And a lot of my little homies don't know that. A lot of they little homies don't know that. Nigga, our big homies caught cases together and all that. It's facts. I done seen it. I done read about it. No. You know what I'm saying? Kind of did all kind of serve together, party together, fuck bitches together, all of that. Mm-hmm. But just due to that one incident, it was a separation, a big one. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. And then, like I say, like, I always be saying, like, shit, shit different. Like, you got big homies now that some niggas be like, I'm about my money now. Fuck what them little niggas got going on in the set. They can have it. Now, when you do that, what's that telling you? Fuck it. Let them niggas terrorize the set, uh, ruin the reputation, no protocol, no DPs, no meetings. Just let them niggas take drugs, get wild, shoot wild, beef with anybody. You know what I'm saying? No, it's no protocol, no, no structure. structure. Ain't no structure to it. So that's where the fuck up come in at. It's like back in the days when we had them summer jams and all them big concerts, mm-hmm. niggas' hoods came to a table. Damn right. I don't give a fuck if it was one nigga from every set. It was a main nigga that's going to tell his niggas, kick back at this concert, safety first. You feel me? Niggas trying to get their money and all that. Now niggas ain't doing that. Why you think the nigga got killed? Rest in peace to Draco. Mm -hmm. Backstage. It wasn't no. It's crazy. It wasn't. If it's for beef, homie, why we going to put them together? Mm -hmm. If we ain't going to sit them at the table and talk before the shit. And get something resolved. It ain't gotta be squashed, but we gotta get some kind of understanding when we gonna get this money. To some die. places gotta be neutral zones, my nigga. To where it's like <laughs> ain't nothing, ain't nobody tripping, ain't nobody fucking this up tonight. That's like what happened with me and Nip. Like our shows was getting separated, and then I'm like, damn, they was scared of me, homie. Oh yeah, damn. I ain't gonna they- lie, cause they looked at me like, oh, this nigga right here. You know what I'm saying? He, in the industry, his mind, he was already past me when it came to elevating the mind and maturing, homie. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't there yet. I was still finding my way, trying to mature and to be able to go and shake a nigga hand. Or It was just, I wasn't there yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, it took a while for me to get there, homie, but getting there is the goal. Once you get there, it's beautiful, cause exactly. now you can you you now you live through all of that shit. Now you can tell the truth to where your big homies love what you doing, they love what you saying. You ain't out of order in what you saying. Like I pray before I come in these interviews. That's why I don't be liking to be rehearsed or what you want to talk. Um, Shit, hit me with whatever, big homie. Yeah, you know, we ain't gonna never come with no negative, or neg- negativity or no faulty shit. No way. That's yeah, not what we but do. sometimes, it ain't, ne- and sometimes negative ain't gotta be bad all the time. Mm-hmm. Like our, especially our conversation we're having right now yeah. with, about Nip, me and Cuz, we was beefing. Exactly. It's negative, but it ain't bad. We enemies, but it ain't bad. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's a positive coming out of it. We talking positive in it. Exactly. I mean, you learn to mature. Same situation with me and Quick. You yeah. Me. 
Yeah. It was gang shit. And that, and but just, I'm going to keep it gangster. That's when I paid more attention to you when he dissed you. At first, I used to listen to you with my big brother, but I was like, damn, man, I was more of a Biggie Smalls fan. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie to you. I love Biggie Smalls I more than I love, love Pac. Smalls, I'm just keeping right. it gangster. Oh, shit, you going to have niggas tearing your ass up. Hey, man, no. Nah. <laughs> you said anything about gangster, Tupac, though. niggas. A nigga told me, still, you don't like Tupac. But you I'm can't be like mad at me. Friend. You can't be mad at me for the artists I, I fell yeah, in love with. Yeah, yeah. I like the nigga that had talked, rapped about swag and yeah. popping bottles and bitches and cool rye and living that. I wasn't into the militant. He was too above what I, I was. He was too above with his raps for me. You know what I'm saying at the time. Mm. I couldn't understand all that half of that shit Pac was saying. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a simple nigga. Give me oh, some. Okay, so man. Yeah, nigga, nigga talking my listen language to when he shit talk. like eight and cube and shit like mm -hmm. I can sit and I can Ain't understand. But they saying they breaking it down in my language. Right. It Actually, man, I thought the, Biggie. I like Tupac and I like Biggie, but motherfuckers gonna be mad at me saying this. Biggie was one that Biggie said shit ten years. All the that record came out twenty years ago. What's that? Um, life after death and all that oh, shit. Oh yeah. Huh? Twenty seven years. This nigga was saying shit on that album, dog, that a nigga could say today, and niggas be saying he one of the hardest niggas around. Man, I fucked with Biggie, Biggie man. Was shit, dog. Biggie was one of my. I, and, and, rappers, and no dog. disrespect to Pac, you know what I'm saying? I got love for Pac too. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't really from the West Coast. He was from the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. I mean, we know it's the, coming we right know now, y'all niggas. You know what I mean? We, we, know, the we know the adventures. Yeah. So I can't really say I, oh, I'm in love with Pac because he was repping LA and yelling out <laughs> what we repping and all of that. If anything, nigga, it's going to be Ice-T or Ice-Cube mm -hmm. or nigga, fuck that. Nigga, Tone Lope. 